Cheers. <laughs> <sighs> Kenny Beats. We're here. We're here. It feels good to be. Do you ever have a moment in your life where you're like, I am exactly where I need to be in this book? Because there's infinite places to be in the universe, and you feel like I this is the one. Honestly, tonight might be the first time I've ever felt that way. Really? There was something about the suit being a size too small Mm -hmm. that it showed me that I can overcome challenges that even I sometimes doubt myself on. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Lyle, just thanks for having me. Thanks for doing what you do. Of course. Um, Thank you to everybody who's tuning in. Thank you to our viewers. A lot of great guests on the show. Lyle, how do you do it? How do you get so many good guests? Uh, you know, listen, you just, uh, if, if, if you get it, they will come. That's what they all say. Wow. If you get it, they will come, my friends. Wow. I love that. Kenny Beats, what has been the most persistent thought on your mind lately? Is there anything don't overthink been, shit. Don't overthink shit? Yeah, you know, don't overthink shit.com, folks. We, uh, over here, we like to not take obstacles, challenges, life's little bumps Mm -hmm. as things that we need to go back and forth with, you know, just, just move with instinct, move with passion, Lyle. I've been trying to just stay focused on the people around me and another good one. Your network is your net worth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lyle, just the fact that I know you, I feel like a smarter guy Mm. just for having been here, having had this conversation, your chat, this other side of the internet, you know, there's so much you can learn from so many people. I just try to not... Let myself get in the way, you know, just don't overthink shit, guys. So don't overthink shit. Is that like, you know, we were talking a little bit earlier that, you know, you you said you you started, you called it don't overthink shit because you personally had a problem overthinking shit. Have you feel, do you feel like over the course, have you always had a problem overthinking shit? It might just be who I am. It could be genetics. Yeah. Where I grew up. There's so many factors, but Yeah. yeah, I think I've always been someone who's felt like I needed to do my best all the time or Mm -hmm. always prove myself, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Or Mm -hmm. always try to try to try to make the point first or make the best joke as fast as you can. But for me, I've, I've realized that collaboration really is the spice of life, you know, Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. trying to do everything yourself and put everything on your own shoulders. No one's going to pat you on the back at the end of the day, right? The more you can do with the more people around you, the more people you can uplift at once. That's, that to me is is really, really when I'm looking forward in the future, Lyle. You know, I I like that. I mean, you were talking about like how how can I say the funny thing? How can I get this lick in there? You know what I mean? It's like when you're really flowing in a social situation, you're not a, you're not thinking about anything. You're just doing confidently. Social situations, business situations, of course. I mean, emotions sometimes get in the way. Yeah, and I think a lot of us are programmed. To kind of feel like with all the social media, all the stuff that, you know what I mean, is interrupting our daily our daily train of thought, that uh, you can't you can't trust yourself just to move swiftly without making sure that everything you say and everything you do is completely calculated. And I don't think that's true, Lyle. Sometimes mm-hmm. I think you just got to put one foot in front of the other and see where it takes you. Now, I like being challenged, Kenny Beats. I uh, you don't want to live through life without uh, you know the, the the thing with the ship. Right, you don't want a smooth sail. You want to endure the thunder and the wind and the sharks and shit. Have you seen a perfect storm with Russell Crowe? No, I haven't. Holy shit! Is it about Russell Crowe's internet going down? No, then? no. It's he's on a little tiny boat and he takes a path that they all tell him he shouldn't take because there's a storm a brewing mm. and lightning ensues, tidal waves. I think he, does he die? I can't remember if he lives or dies. I think if if he lives, that was poignant. I, I, I'm if, not, he di- if he dies, is I it- think he might die. Yeah, I think he might die in that movie. Has anyone else seen a perfect storm? I don't, I'm not sure. Well, Kenny Beach, tonight we're going to live. Let's get it. We're going to make it through. How is the Yerba Mate, by the way? Is there a caffeine in that? People are starting to tell me that the Yerba is um, strongly linked to cancer, and I've been drinking a lot of it publicly for many years. Yeah. So we'll see if that's true or not, but it, it tastes great and okay. low calorie. Um. A lot of energy. That's really why I do it. I used to be on the Red Bull, pretty heavy, a lot of late night sessions. A lot of rappers don't show up on time, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was just chugging through the Red Bulls. And people were telling me, Kenny, you can't be doing that. There's no good for you. There's too much sugar in there. So I moved over. It's an herbal, organic tea. Okay. Are you a healthy guy in general? Do you eat healthy food and... 
as drink of water late 2022, shit. my answer would be yes. Any other okay. year, my answer would be no. Oh, it's just a recent kick. Yeah, me and my buddy Dylan, we've been hitting the gym pretty hard. We've been big on the salads. I've been trying to do no carbs before I go to bed, which means okay. no bread right before you sleep, Lyle. Are you afraid of of like dying, getting sick, and going into the ground? Someone was trying to explain to me how bad uh, white people age and how because we don't grow up using moisturizer and caring for our skin no. and these kinds of things, I, I might be aging terribly. And I posted a picture recently and people were saying, damn, you look old as hell. So I'm on the salads, I'm moisturizing now. I can't confirm 100%. I mean, you're probably, I don't know if I'm fine, you're probably fine about the, uh, if, if there are no negative health effects to the paint that we're wearing right now. The paint, I feel like if anything, it's it's making my skin feel less dry. Is it burning? No. Okay, good. I, I mean, hey, the facial hair was the only thing I'm worried about, but you got a pretty solid beard going, so it's not going to be an issue for me. No, it'll be several days after I've put this on, and I'll find a little green beard hairs here and there. I'm kind of into that. That's almost like a... I feel like that's like a that's like a dom fight kind of thing, you know. It's like last week I had like pink hair, this week I got green hair, yeah. like a trace of it. It's kind of rock yeah, star. Yeah, it's like always, but for me, it's only green. Yeah. Hey, you want to take some calls, Kenny Beats? Let's get into it. Uh, someone asked if we fart. Do you fart? I fart. I also don't try to like hide my farts like a weirdo. I'm like, you know, really? there's a story about um, a woman who was afraid to fart around her husband for 20 years, and she ended up having to have a crazy surgery. I can't. I'm paraphrasing the story, but yeah. you should let your farts out, especially around those you love, especially if you're in a new relationship, but it's solid, like you're into it. You know, you like each other. They're not going to leave you over a fart. Let it out. So if you, would you say if you're in a, a business situation or you're just meeting a new person, would you say that farting in mid conversation, not acknowledging at all, would you consider that to be a power move? Not first no, I don't consider that a power move. But isn't it like a stance of I don't care what you think of me at all. I'm going to do this. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to obey my biology in the face of you not liking me because yes. my body's more important. But than that's that. like that's like that falls under like locker room talk. That's archaic. You know what I mean? That's like some alpha male shit. That's like some Jordan Belfort shit to do. Mm. You know what I mean? We're past that, Lyle. Like we're we're not just farting mid conversation. You know what I mean? The, the vibe I think is if you've known someone for well enough for them to know your character, or at least for them to assume you're a good person, and you let a fart out mid combo, and everybody just keeps it moving. There's a respect there, but it's not a, it's not a power stance. It can be depicted as that, but I'd like to be more respectful with it, just personally. That's me. Are you not interested in, in games of power? Have you ever read Forty Eight Laws of Power? I've read like spark notes of it. There's a lot of weird shit in that book, you know. Like, yeah, there's a whole thing. That powerful people do sometimes and it's they try to speak less they try to let you do the talking sometimes they'll, you'll walk into a room with someone who might be of a certain stature financially successfully whatever it is and they'll say how you doing tell me about yourself and they'll just let you over talk and over speak and just give up all your secrets and all your mojo so they can read you that's fuck it's sketchy what is what kind of vibe is that why can't you just talk to people you know 48 laws of power fucking New York Times bestseller, all these people learning how to just be silent. Be yourself. Fart wherever you want. Tell people how you're feeling. Let's be forthright with our emotions. It's 2022. I agree. I feel like a book like that, it's a, it's sort of a antithetical to your whole thing of not overthinking shit. If you're reading a book about social interactions, I would put that under the category of overthinking. True, but social anxiety is pervasive. And, you know, there's people, there's people just like us, Lyle, who be on stage in front of thousands of people yep. doing our thing fully comfortable but then going out with a small group of friends can sometimes seem like a lot of weight on your shoulders you know so if you need a little help with that i can it's understand true. it but there's, gr there's great other resources that aren't just books you know so i think a book if anything it's a great place to start but a true geck knows that a community is where you really gather your strength let's hear from the community talk to tristan from west virginia Hello, Tristan. Yeah, what's up, uh, Tristan? You're on with uh, Therapy Gecko and Kenny Beats, and uh, it says here you've been struggling navigating the dating world. You find 
that you have a hard time getting people to go on dates with you after starting the conversation. So sort of taking that next step from uh, talking to someone to, you know, sort of making an actionable date out of it. Is this is this correct? Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Kenny, is this something that you've ever uh, ever struggled with in your life? I think um, people who are going through this kind of tough thing right now would be surprised that even the hottest people in the world experience the same thing, Tristan. Really? Yeah, it sounds shocking, right? You would think <laughs> at least sexy ass people on Instagram, there's probably no way they have trouble getting a date. But like we were just saying, Tristan, social anxiety is not just for people who have never been on a date or having trouble. It's for everybody. It's people who've been in relationships, people trying to start over in their dating life. You're not alone. So let's just start there, Tristan. This is not right. something that millions of people haven't overcome before. You're going to beat this, but let's just figure out how. What's yeah. your okay. what's your stra- do you have a strategy, Tristan? What's your like uh what's your opener when you when you match with some uh, one of these apps? I guess um recently i've kind of been looking up like articles on like how to do like you know the you know, good openers like 15 you know classic openers to use and like i guess the one i kind of sort of navigate towards is like um it's just kind of like trying to find something of substance to say about like a profile picture or whatnot like oh hey look you know you have a cool outfit there or oh cool like what's that poster in your room you know things like that trying to like just yeah. try and find something that kind of shows that you're engaging with the profile and then just kind of trying to, you know, build something from there, I suppose. Yeah, of course, because no girl wants to think that, like, they're getting, you know, uh, a message that was sent to, you know, a hundred other people. True. Right, yeah. I think also, Tristan, you're, you're doing something positive and negative at the same time. Hit him, Kenny. Um, I think you're showing that you care and you pay attention and you're showing that that attention to detail that honestly so many of us guys really miss out on, you know what I mean? It comes around Christmas season and you only think of the last couple hints you got and you forget about those little gift ideas throughout the whole year that people drop, you know what I mean? On a random Wednesday, you're showing that you're one of those guys who cares. You're going to pick up on these little things, but at the same time, you're giving off a little bit of a you vibe. You ever seen you on Netflix, the fucking, you know, the stalker guy, you don't want people to think you're looking at their space a little too carefully. And you're like ironing out details, trying to figure out like triangulate, you know what I mean? They're uh, like where, where they're at in the world or anything like that. I think you should start even simpler because this is a great quality about you that you care this much to look into the detail. But let's not show that yet. It's the same way if you were a great cook, right. I would say let's not do a five star feast the first night. You know what I mean? Mm. Let's 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 hold something in, Tristan, to show them how engaging you can be and how focused you can be. Let's start with a classic. Mm. This is not going to be in those. Uh, 15 best pickup line articles, but I'll give you one that I use all the time whenever I'm on the single dating scene. Just a lowercase hey. Mm, I see. Lowercase hey. See. Just a just a hey. Lowercase H. Lowercase hey. That's it. Is that does that work for you typically? It's not about the success rate. It's just about if it does work, you're coming in just casual. Easy going and interesting. I don't know if, if all these engagements are all on uh, social media or on the internet, but something you could try in person is, hey, can I ask you a question? You have mm. to say, say yes, love. I'm not. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm oh, talking oh, oh, I, I didn't, didn't realize, oh, I, didn't realize I was. I was. You're, the, the, you're the person that we're. Okay, you ask me again. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yes. And, the, and whatever that person happens to be wearing, you pick out a specific item of clothing that person's wearing. Let's say they have white cowboy boots. And what you say is, Tristan, you say, do you think I could pull off some white cowboy boots? Ooh. I like that. Find I like out. that. No, no, no. Hey, hey, no, no, no. You don't have to. That was, that was it. But yeah, but, so, but I think, Tristan, uh, lead off a little simpler and then maybe get into okay. it. And then whenever you, whenever you drop that. Don't, don't overthink shit, if you will. Exactly. Whenever you drop no, the I color of their eyes, the color of their eyes, color of their hair, a little small thing about something in their pictures, chat two, chat three. You've reeled them in. Wait, Kenny, oh, I'm confused okay. about this because I, you were saying earlier, you were like, you don't, I don't, I've never seen you, but you were like, you don't want them to think you're like overanalyzing shit. But then you're talking about like the color of her eyes and stuff. And I'm saying save it. Save, uh, you so save it's, it. It's a, it's a gradual. 
you don't want to let them know everything you've noticed and everything that you you're thinking about. You yeah, Tristan, come on. Tristan, you have so fucking much to offer. Let's not just put it all on a platter right at once. The surprises okay. is what keeps what keeps the passion ignited. It keeps the fire hot. Christian, can I ask uh, Tristan? Can I ask what what is it that you want? What are you looking for out there? Wants to get sucked. For... Everybody just wants to get sucked. Everybody just there are people out there who who want more no, than no, just no. getting sucked. I, yeah, but I'm saying everybody at the end of the day deserves I just mean, to get I mean, sucked. Sucked is probably in like the top five. I told you. The, top five. Okay, it's in the top five. I feel like everybody it's wants It's in the top two, and it's not two, Tristan. Let's get real with the stream. Come on. It's late on a fucking... I mean, on like... A, on a, <laughs> but I mean, like, night. I mean, in all honesty, like, I'm like a... I'm very... I have, I'm not... I don't know. I, I'm, like... <laughs> I haven't had much, like, dating experience. Like, I've only really been with, like, two people, and that was, like, a very short thing. And, like, I kind of grew up in a pretty, like conservative like abstinence only like sex ed kind of deal so it's just mm. like i kind of want to and i just like i kind of want to just like find somebody i can vibe with and just kind of like explore myself in different ways i don't know if necessarily like you know like a, a hard core like relationship is what i'm looking for right now but just like i want to like somebody i can like fuck around with have fun with and just you know have the generally somebody like, on a on a like it sounds like similar experience level as you so that you two can kind of learn yeah i guess because i get often with get each other by people who, like that i know have like more experience than me so it's just like i'm yeah it's just kind of and it's just in general like my lack of experience is something i'm kind of like a little self-conscious about and i think don't be don't be tristan it. Tristan, don't be. Same thing with all these these 15 best pickup lines and all this stuff. Truly, don't overthink shit and just be yourself and be forthright and honest. And let's say someone is more experienced than you. They might find some joy in being able to bring you up to their level. You know? Right. And that could, right. Be a, that could be a fun time. Right, right. Tristan. It's an opportunity for them to show off their skills, make them feel like they're in a position where they're like, oh, because maybe somebody out there is self-conscious about their experience but then they meet you and they're like all right well i can kind of know more use, than this guy i know more than this guy and that yeah, makes yeah. them feel good and now you're in a you're in a group you're, you're getting yeah. sucked they're okay. educating everybody all around i think that's a w <laughs> everyone's think, getting sucked tristan do you feel like we're a little closer yeah. to the finish line uh, sorry could you repeat that <laughs> do you feel like we're a, a little closer to the finish line are you feeling a little more solid about this topic in your life right now I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little more, a little more confident about things. How I would think. you rate this call like some, experience for you on a scale from one to ten? Definitely, like, uh, if we're going, like, you know, if we're going like Fantano scale, definitely like a hard eight, hard eight. What's the What's the Fantano scale? A ten is like a JPEG Mafia song. I don't know how that. How does that pertain? I don't know. I was just like, you know, trying to do like, you know, like the, you know, just like the like, you know, I'm feeling like a light six to a hard set, uh, strong. Oh, okay, seven. okay, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tristan, thank you very much for calling. I mean, Good I, luck I, to I you. guess the, 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 yeah, no problem. Thanks, Gek. Thanks, Kenny. Big fan. Appreciate it. We're Anytime. fans of you too, man. Anytime, Tristan. Take care, Tristan. Good luck. Godspeed. Yep. So you, the the H, the lowercase H. By the by the way, you know what I've. This is a kind of a pathetic uh, feeling. Okay, if you've ever, like, because, okay, the iPhone auto-capitalizes everything you say. So have you ever had a moment where you had to intentionally go back and uncapitalize your hey? Like an all-capital hey? No, no, no. Okay, you type out hey with a capital H. Oh, and it, and it had a capital H. Because I it had that. a capital H because iPhone automatically does the capital H. And then you go back. You change the capital H to a lowercase h. Has that ever happened? I'm putting an asterisk next to it, or I'm unsending no, 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 the message. Okay. All right, your type, your, you type hey. Your phone auto, your, your, it hasn't been sent yet. Your phone auto types it with a capital H, and then you go back, you know, with the little magnifying glass, delete and delete the H, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. turn the cap lock off. And then type a lowercase h. Yes, it's a. It's one, Isn't that worse though? You're Aren't making you, it seem like crazy. Most... It's one second, Lyle. It's with these no, one but extra that's the second. Mo- that's such an over. That's an overthinky thing to like. Is it? Yeah. Aesthetics. My aesthetic. I'm not overthinking. I know what my aesthetic is, and the computer was overthinking my moves, and I'm trying to correct it so we can get this algorithm on point. Don't gaslight me, Lyle. I guess it eventually learns, but I'm saying it's like that in and of itself. My my philosophy has always been like you know, 
you just do things, move around the universe, exert forces, and then whatever comes back to you is what you have to work with. Did you? Is that from a Marvel movie? Is it? Is it from a Marvel movie? It had a, like a, a kind of Marvel tint to it. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. Exert, you're exerting force into the universe. Here's how I feel. It's not that complicated. Sometimes, Lyle, you just have to roll with the punches. Talk to Angelina from Florida. Where in Florida? Very important detail. Let's find out, baby. Angelina. Yes. How are you, Angelina? Hello. I am so good. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay. Ooh, calm down. Okay. Yeah, I can't Hello. believe we're talking to you. I, 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 I always say when people are like, oh, I can't believe I got in. I'm like, I can't believe anyone ever called. Like, I'm like shaking right now. I'm like so like nervous to talk to you. Oh, my God. No, I like I love you. Think. I like watch all your videos. <laughs> oh, man. Angelina. Angelina. Uh, 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 Kenny, Kenny Beats wants to know where exactly in Florida you are. Whereabouts? Okay, so I actually live, like, most, like, when I say Tampa, Florida, people will know where that is, but I, like, live in a little city called Riverview. 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 Okay, got it. What are you calling <laughs> in about tonight? Okay, so this is a kind of a long story. So um, I actually do um, marching band, and I play the flute, if you didn't know. So I obviously you didn't know, but I play the flute. A flautist. A marching band. It's a so wonderful it, instrument. It, it, yes. Yes. And so in the marching band, we have different sections. So I'm part of the um, flute section, right? So um, in earlier years, our section was kind of like trash. Like it was, like we were not, like every other section was like really hype and into it and into the music. And our section was kind of like, oh, we're the flute section. Hello, we play the flute. And it was kind of like dry like that. It was unseasoned for real. So then um, to make it more like, the, up the morale we do like things like section dinners and hangouts and things like that you know so um when the season was ending during like christmas time so last christmas like this past christmas we did like this little christmas party and it was like a secret santa thing and everybody got to um pull a raffle or whatever however they did it. they assigned everybody the section leaders assigned everybody secret santa and stuff like that the yada yada so i did right. it and so, and well I angelina it says here that you did the Secret Santa with your band people and that the person who had yeah. you didn't get you yeah. a gift. Is this correct? What? Yes. So, no, see, look, this, I'm sorry if I was talking too much, but this, I was. No, 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 it's okay. Party. This is what so happened. Per- so, we, we had this last performance of like the year or whatever. It was like this Festival of Winds where we performed for like the high school kids. So, they want to be excited about music and yada, yada. Enjoying the music programs, like marching band and different stuff. So we were doing that. So I get there and I see her. I had no idea she was my secret fan at this point. So I see her and I'm like, and I walk past her. She's like, oh, hi, Angie. That's what everyone calls me. That's my nickname, Angie. Fake ass bitch. Angelina Why is she Angie? being so oh. fake, though? She didn't buy a gift and she's trying to say hi. Oh, God. Continue, continue. continue. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. Well, Go. Keep, well, going. No, keep going. Let, well, us, let her keep going. Let her keep going. Keep well, listen, going. Well, listen, Angelina, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Okay. So, so. Okay, so we've we've established you had a Secret Santa thing uh, as a means of boosting the clout of the flutes who were in desperate need of some. They weren't feeling it. Like <laughs> the morale, and, the morale. And, and this person, uh, uh, she was your friend beforehand? So, like I said, we were in marching band, and, you know, every year the freshman class comes in, we get new members and stuff. So we were, like, really, really close our freshman year. Like, we were, like, cool like that. But then, like, the new right, members came right. in. It kind of stole me away from her, and then she became band captain, you know, so that's, like, right underneath the Oh, okay, lead. all right, so, so there's a little bit of drama that's sort of boiling to a point. Passive aggression. Right, right. And then and then no, it all not, explodes would... in this gift exchange. No, 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 I promise you it's not even like that. It's not like that. You asked me if we were friends, and we were kind of drifting apart. Let me just say it like that. We drifted Oh, okay, apart. so you haven't place. lost a treasured member of the squad or anything. No. No, but can I can I can I get back to it? Like, I just really want to tell y'all what happened. Go ahead, please. Is that okay? Okay, so we I see her and she's like, "Oh hi, Angie," and I'm like, "Oh hey, girl, hi." Not knowing she's my secret Santa, bro. I see her right. So I'm thinking like, "Oh, she's gonna be at the party. It's all good. This and this and that." We get to the party, 
And after we have our hot chocolate and all of our cookies and this and this and that, we're sharing love stories, how much we love our section and this and this and that, we start exchanging gifts. So everyone's exchanging their gifts. So the first person goes and they give their gift and that person gives their gift and on and on and on and on. So the person who was supposed to give my Secret Santa their gift, her gift, she wasn't there. And so then it turns out... Convenient. How convenient. (laughs) How convenient that is. I'll continue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. (laughs) No, you're good. So I'm looking around, looking at her. I'm like, I'm looking around. I'm like, okay. And then one of our other friends comes over. She's like, oh, she's not here. She had to finish a paper and this and that. But she said, your gift is coming in the mail. So I'm a little bit salty and bitter at this point because I'm thinking like, okay, if you knew you had a paper due this day and you knew you were going to procrastinate, why even sign up for Secret Santa? Facts. That's how I'm feeling at that point. What did you, and, well, and then, Angelina? What did you, what did you get? What did, what did you get your your person? My girl. Okay, so my girl likes <laughs> junk food. The girl I got, she likes life of junk food. So I got her Pringles. I got her these big bags of um, sour patch kids. Kids. My girl likes sour patch kids. I got her. So yeah, I just got her junk food, like a big like. I love it. I love it. I want to. I, I want to. I want to take this, Angelina. I I, I appreciate you. I want to take this to a larger sort of sort of uh concept do you believe that the good that you give out into the world do you believe it comes back let me tell you something wow can i get real free for a second yeah please, get real free. Please, please, yes, please 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 i feel like i've been talking to my mom and i have a therapist too we've been talking and they thank you thank you for taking care of yourself <laughs> no, Thank you for taking care of yourself Listen. and your mental health and putting you first. Thank you for that. Can I just say thank you real quick and give you your Listen. flowers before you continue? Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. So we, they tell me that I, when I first meet people, I like love them automatically. I love, love, love everybody. And I give all my love to everybody. And, you know, when you love everybody, not everybody loves you back. And so sometimes mm-hmm. I don't get my love back. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So I need to learn with myself. I need to learn who deserves my love and who doesn't, if that makes sense. Because I love, love, love everybody, and not everybody gives it back to me, obviously, apparently. But that's such a great thing to do. I feel like if the love love is given with an expectation of something in return, I feel like it's, it's almost not even true. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I love the way that you're approaching this, this whole, you know, way of being. Of giving without necessarily uh, needing something in return. I don't like to get into this stuff. It's not even. But, what, what, what's your sign? Ooh, are, you an, are you an Aquarius? Are you an Aquarius by chance? No, I'm a Cancer Leo. So like, I'm like my birthday is mm. July 22nd. So I'm like the cutoff. Like my birthday is the cutoff to be a Cancer, and the next sign after that is a Leo. So I'm a Cancer Leo. My mom. <laughs> Similarly to you, she she just loves people off the bat. She sees the best in people when she meets them. But one thing my mom's had to learn, the strong woman she is, the resilient woman she is, is that at the same time, you can give people the benefit of the doubt, but you deserve the benefit of the doubt first. And sometimes always thinking the best of everybody is the best way to be unless it's getting in the way of you taking care of yourself and you seem like a person who has a good relationship with your mom you're talking to your therapist you know what i mean you can see these overall vibes you have a sense about you where you can tell it's not just a thing with who's playing the flute or the pieces that we're playing the section is not having the passion that some of these other sections are having and i don't know if a dinner or a secret santa or one of these little traditions is going to fix that but you know what will your mindset Mm -hmm. and how you talk to these people and how you carry out these little petty things that they're doing. What kind of band captain is that? Booking their, their schedule. Oh, coincidentally, on the day they're supposed to be giving a gift, they book something in their schedule. That's no captain. You sound like a captain to me. But let me tell you something. We don't need them to give you a pin or some kind of yearbook fucking thing under your name that says who you are. Because we know who you are. Your mom knows who you are. Your therapist knows who you are. Your friends know who you are. And the love that you deserve, you will get. It might not be from the flute section, but fuck them. They're stale anyway. Me and Lyle love you. And the chat loves you. Chat, speak up. And let me tell you something. We're, ju- we're just a small sample size of a bigger majority. And honestly, good luck to you. you deserve the world. Angelina, anything you want to say to the people of the computer before we go? Oh, my God. 
guys, thank you so much. You're going to make me cry. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. And Kennedy, you, I mean, Kennedy, Kenny, you need to be a preacher, sir. You need to be given <laughs> therapy, sir. You need to have your own. Look, you need it. Look, that spoke to my soul. And that's on what? Mary had a little land, period. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Lyle. Thank you for have having me. Have a great so happy night. Guys. Have a great night. Of course. You have thank a you, great Angelina. night, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I will. Miss? So I didn't know you were into uh, astrology. I'm really not. I, w- I shouldn't have brought that into it. Did, hate- but, but but okay okay okay. But 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 something in within you made you feel as though it was relevant to the conversation. Made you feel like you should bring it up. What, what was that? She said something that like she sounded like my mom. Really? Yeah. My my mom is like from what I understand. My mom is very much her sign. My mom is very much an Aquarius. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and so. If I had nailed that, if I had been like, hey, are you an Aquarius? And she said, yes, that would have been like a, you know, if you, if like people are into astrology yeah, and yeah. you guess their sign, you yeah. like, so sometimes you just got to take the stab just to see if you nail it. You Further know? evidence towards, there's oh, maybe fucking, there's something here. What are there, 12 signs? You know what I mean? It's like, maybe yeah. I nail it. And then all they think you're a genius forever. What are you? A uh, Taurus. Do you, okay. So when you go on the computer and you're lurking up the Taurus stuff and it says uh, you eat. Uh, late at night and uh, you like the water and you have a toe ring and all, and all this stuff. Do you look at that and go, that's me? Or, or do you, are you like, eh? It's, it's everybody, right? Whatever your sign is, it's you too. You exactly. Like, it says, for me, it says uh, Taurus is stubborn, creative. Yeah, I'm fucking stubborn, creative, but so mm-hmm. is like all my friends who are fucking Sagittarius, you know? Like, no, for anybody who's into it, shout out to you. Mercury retrograde seems like a fucking real thing. But at the same time, I've had people like fuck up songs or mixes or sessions or this and that. And be like, yeah, Mercury retrograde's fucking crazy. And I'm like, you know what, pal? I don't know if it, I don't know if we can blame that on fucking retrograde, pal. But that's a it's, it's no no hate to anybody out there who's rocking their co-star app. Shout out to you guys. It's no it's no hate to anyone who uh, who who rocks the. My family's uh, big into it. Yeah, I, I, there's no hate to anyone who's into it. I'm my my position is like I'm with with like the younger people. I'm like I would be afraid of like some 14 year old being like, tr- f- like f- making uh, uh, etching in stone parts of who they are based because on, of their moon because of some their fucking moon or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah. don't have to be this because the computer says you're this based on the stars, you know. But it, it, it's you know. Everyone has their way of uh, making sense of the universe and why things are the way they are, and I'm not here to hate on it. We're just here to just help you along the path. We're here to be geckos and talk to people on the phone. God, is, this is a great time. Fuck I could yeah. do this. I could do this all day. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Hey, girl. Good. How are you? Kenny, love you. Geck, love you. Love you. Miss you. What's going on? Let's get to it. Tell us everything. Tell us nothing, Amanda. Um, I wanted to call just to talk about, I have like pretty bad sleep apnea, which Mm. causes me to have sleep paralysis very often. I have a very, very, very close friend to me who experiences this problem extremely badly. Continue. I might have something for you. Okay. So, well, I mean, I smoke a lot of weed and that helps tremendously. (laughs) Oh, I got it. I already already know what it is. All right, keep going, keep going. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so I basically, for the past 10 years, I've had this, where I, my body, obviously, it becomes, like, paralyzed, but my head is, like, in between the stages of, like, dreaming, but, like, also awake. So, like, I'm very aware of what's going on around me, but, like, I'll see, like, crazy hallucinations. Hmm. Like people sleep paralysis demons, room. what they call them. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you have a demon? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm personally not religious, so I don't see it like that. But I more see it as like a medical condition. But yeah. Is is it typically seen as a religious? I never, I never, I didn't know that the sleep paralysis demon was a religious. Demons, thing. angels, demons. I see what you're saying. Sure, there. I, sure. I think just that she's yeah, having I mean, like, some type of hallucination of some sort because it feels like she's awake, but she's seeing things. Yeah, like I, I actually have a friend who is part of church, and he's like very crazily talked about how like I might be like a demon might be attached to me, and I was like. I can't deal with all that. <laughs> I can't do mm. that. Just well, if he starts talking about Phaetons, that's a whole other conversation. But we're not going to get into it. Here's what I think. 
Let me ask yeah. you one question. Do you, do you smoke weed to get to sleep because it helps you get to bed? Yeah. I am also a big weed smoker. And something okay. I've learned is that people who smoke weed before bed, which I'm sure is a lot of people in the chat, a lot of people, Lyle and I both know, um, it's something that can help people get to sleep, get their eyes closed, make them feel tired, whatever it is. But the problem with smoking to go to bed is when you smoke within the last few hours before you go to sleep, you don't hit full beta waves, Lyle. You don't heard, go, I have heard of beta waves. You don't go into the deep sleep that you can normally go into if you went to bed sober. The mm. problem is something about cannabis and cannabinoids and THC and what it's doing to your brain, it doesn't allow you to get to the deepest form of sleep you can. So when you smoke weed before you go to bed, you're not getting the best sleep you can. So first things first, I would try to just get yourself as tired as possible without the weed or maybe try a CBD thing or something that doesn't have the THC or any of the psychoactive effects and see if the weed might be a little bit of the problem there. But when it comes to the demons and all that other shit, I'm going to leave that to lot. What is your demon? Can I just demon? say one thing? Oh, oh please, please, Sorry. please. No, um, go ahead. Are we not calling them I've demons? Well, I've had this for like years, like since I was like 14 years old. So, so you weren't smoke. I, so you I, were not I, smoking Zaza back then and you right. are now. No, it, smoking it. helped me actually not have it. Mm, mm. You got to start the, uh, yeah. the sleep paralysis runs. What is the sleep paralysis runs? Like the, I you should start the weed like strain. Uh, oh, a weed strain called sleep paralysis? Yeah, we'll talk about That's that after, though. And, anyway, so this has been going on pre-weed. But Lyle, anything to weigh in on this? Uh, I want to know what your demon looks like. I have a couple questions about the demon. First of all, is it a recurring Sorry. demon? Is it a cast of, is it an ensemble cast of demons? Well, like, is it like one a, guy? Is like, it a lady? What's the demon? So there has been just like shadows walking, like, but it doesn't seem like they're like, it's just like they're passing through, like in and out of the room, like around. They don't like, want smoke. Like, oh, like they're not coming. They're not coming up to you and doing anything. They're just there. No, no. Yeah. And I'll hear like tapping on the window. But like one time, which I knew, like when I went to, like, I actually talked to my doctor about it was when I was sleeping. I woke up, but I thought I was like actually awake. But I looked back and I saw myself sleeping. And like that was just the scariest thing, like actually seeing like what you look like sleeping. So like after that, I was like, I talked to my doctor, but they just like, recommended like medication. Amazing. And you're, you're not doing Which DMT like, before bed. We've confirmed you. You're not doing DMT before you go to bed? Yeah, no. Okay, no, okay. Amanda. Yeah, this is, okay. This is all what if you are your own sleep paralysis demon? That could be true. That could be true. You secretly are the demon. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amanda, what do you think of this theory? I'm I just could... spitballing here. This could be completely untrue. But what are your thoughts <laughs> on this? Um I mean like you sound like my religious friend, right? <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I talked to people saying that it could be like trauma based, but like I haven't had any like major trauma in my life happen. Yeah, have you gone? Have oh, you? Uh, uh, so you you were telling me that you 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 were, you were saying that you uh, went to some specialists, some some therapists. You were, you were saying that, right? I just went to my regular doctor and talked. What did to your them. doctor have to say and about this? They just they just said that like. People will get this like once, maybe twice in their life, but they're like, mm. in rare occasions, it will happen like very often to people, but they're like, the most we recommend is either like medication or just like a change in like lifestyle, like going to bed at the same time every night, like certain things like that. A routine can do like, magical things for you. I would, I really, I can sure attest can. Yeah. to that. A routine can make you feel a lot better. That might mm -hmm. be good first step i'm really more rocking with lyle's theory that you're your own demon now i think we gotta we gotta figure out what is it that's making you haunt yourself yeah i don't know it's a question i gotta ask myself what do you want from yourself amanda <laughs> uh, um i don't quite know 
Maybe we should start there. Hmm. I had a different. I had another suggestion that I was going to throw out before I found out that you were your own sleep paralysis demon. I've uh, talked to some people on the okay. show a while ago who had a sleep paralysis demon, and they said they got rid of their sleep paralysis demon by having sex with them. With the demon. With the demon. But if your demon is yourself, you could have sex with then yourself. Then that would be weird. Yeah, you could. <laughs> that is true. I mean, I think that you should go to see another specialist and see what they have to tell you because, you know, we can sit here and we can, um, you know, go back and forth on our various theories. But at the end of the day, uh, we're just a couple of geckos and there are people who went to school and studied brain scans for, you know, night after night after night. And I'm sure that those um, brain scan nerd people can tell you a lot more than we could. Yeah. Fuck those nerds. But Amanda, is there anything else that you want to say to uh, the people of the computer before we go? Um, thank you for listening. Of course. And have a great night. You as well. Thank you so much for calling, Amanda. Get some rest, Amanda. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Wow. Wow. I think we just we just hit a new level tonight. You know, the whole having sex with yourself thing, I read, I read some article that was like, uh, if, you, if there was a clone of you, would you have sex with it? And at first I was like, I don't know if I would have sex with a clone of myself because I don't know if I would be like sexually attracted to myself. But also, I know myself sexually more than anybody else because I'm myself. So if I were to have sex with myself, I would be having sex with someone who knows what I like more than anyone else would. Fellas, ladies, people of the chat, is it gay to fuck your sleep paralysis demon of yourself? I'm the, who cares if it is, but yo, like that's it, something to sleep on. Because everything you're saying makes perfect sense, but right. like fucking myself, uh, taking care of myself just inside of myself is mm-hmm. so hard. I'm six seven. Mm-hmm. It's like a lot. You're six seven. Two, two, six, seven people in one bed. It's like well, even if it's a king, even if it's a California king, that's just so much like ankles and your legs and ankles and you know what I mean. It's just like too, too much. Mm-hmm. It's too much. If you could, would you? Well, would you? Would you suck your own dick? I can't, and I probably I don't think I would. To be honest, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would either. I mean, I I, I think I would. I would I would try it. Well, I don't think I would make it like a nightly routine, but if I could, I would try it at least. For once. me, like the quest of getting sucked is like half the fun. You know what I mean? If I could just suck myself, there's no journey anymore. What if you like set up a chat bot that was like your that you trained to respond? You know these like AI robots that you can text and they're like Yeah, yeah. You set one up that's like you and then you would like flirt with yourself and stuff. Holy shit. Like I like I like, like we, I like get myself like a seduce myself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You I mean, can take yourself out to dinner. You could, you could, you could, you could simulate the quest. This makes everything so much fucking easier. I mean, this is where it's all sort but of. There's no, there, but there's no surprising yourself. You know what I mean? It's like there's no like. You thought I forgot the anniversary. Oh, here are the flowers. Like because you know it's yourself. That's the problem. I, I need the spice of a variety and spontaneity you know what i mean i can't just be fucking myself all the time I'm taking myself to dinner hello is this margo from virginia yeah yeah what's up hey how's it going margo i'm here with kenny beats we're a couple of geckos and we're talking to people on the phone hey i'm not a gecko but i am talking to them <laughs> what perfect. are y'all up to kenny what are you up to I'm just sweating in this suit. Just it's hot in here, isn't it? It's a little hot, yeah. But I can actually see on your face. I don't think I can see it, but I can see on your face. I think this happens to me, too, where the paint melts, drips a little bit, but then solidifies. So there's sort of like a solidified drip. Oh. We're just solidified drip yeah, over here. It's, like, it's a certain look. <laughs> Margo, it, it, says here, it. it says here that uh, you had a YouTube channel. 
I actually didn't look at this before I took it, but I read the first line and it seemed interesting. I had you, Margo. It says here you had a YouTube channel dedicated to making videos of your webkins when you were eleven. Uh -huh. Tight. And then, mm -hmm. oh, I should have read this before. I, and then the first comment was someone asking if you could take a video of your feet. And you feel like this telegraphed yeah. your eventual career in sex work. Yeah. So, you know, I have this YouTube channel. You know, you read it. And I just love taking little videos of my webkins. What? So I'm 24 real now. Quick, real quick, like real quick, real quick. What the, what's what is a webkin? I'm you sorry. know what webkins are. I'm sorry. Are? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is a webkin? You don't know, you know what webkins are. I may, maybe I'll know what it is. If you're Amanda, right. uh, Amanda, Margo, Margo, uh, tell tell Kenny Beats what webkins are. Kenny Beats, you're missing out, my friend. Um, so webkins are little stuffed animals that you could get at the store, and they had codes on their tags. So is it like a like beanie baby? Like raccoons. No, nah, well, better. Um, and okay. you could take the little code and put them online. Um, and then like have how like how it's like Neopets, but like not free. But now it's free. But um, and you would just put up videos of them doing was, what? Just showing, just showcasing which ones you had, like collectors' yeah, items. Yeah, like they're just like walking around and stuff. Like oh, Peaches the raccoon is hanging out with Husky the husky and whatever. And then someone's under under the um, Peaches raccoon they're, video. They're like, show your feet. And then you're like, whoa, what the fuck? Well, and you were just a young kid. Was, yeah, how did you react when you first saw that yeah. comment? I was excited because excited. um cuz they were like, "Oh my god." I was like, "Oh my gosh." Like someone commented on my video. "Oh my god." It was like, "Hey, love your video. Um can you upload one of your feet?" And I was like, "Oh my god." So like in the video, I'm like, "Hey, here are my feet." Um I just painted my cute little toes. Look at them. They're so blue. Um, these are the bottoms of my feet, like a really in-depth video of my feet. So, I mean, um, can I ask, like, you know, look, you're 24 years old now. L looking back on that contemporarily, I mean, how, how do you, how do you feel about this? Um, I felt like it was foreshadowing my future, um, because I am in sex work now. Um, yeah. so it just kind of like makes sense. <laughs> that it happened but I was you know it was very wholesome I guess in the beginning looking back I was like uh, it's a little weird but then I'm like I guess it makes sense you know like of course this would happen well I will say I will um, say that's something that for certain people could be a very scary, very traumatizing thing. And I love the fact that you found the beauty in it and you've turned it into a career mm -hmm. where you're respecting yourself and you can see this all as this kind of foreshadowing that yes, a little creepy, who knows who that was behind that account asking for that picture. Yes, you were definitely too young to be doing any type of video besides just this strict webcam video. I mean, the webkins, what the fuck is it? Webkins, webkins. video. But a I webkins. think that... It's, it's, I think it's beautiful. Your outlook is beautiful. You I know? agree. I agree and, with Kenny 100%. And we respect sex workers here on Therapy Geckos. We respect sex workers in my Discord as well and on my Twitch. And I think um, you being able to see that moment as the blossoming of your career, I think that's a great way to look at it because to me, a little bit scary. Not gonna lie, a little bit, little bit scary. Yeah, I agree. That's a little bit. I mean, for a lot of people, that would be a very like uh, a little scary. Uh, sort of traumatizing. If, if I was fourteen, and someone asked me to see my feet. I'm not sure. I might have given up on music. I'm not sure if I'd be here. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> how that would have affected me. But I love your outlook, and I love that you've turned this into a beautiful thing. And let's just get a respect, sex workers in the chat, real quick. So uh, yeah, when did you? I so I've been going contemporarily, as we said. Or, or how long have you been uh, doing sex work for? Um, since I was like eighteen. Okay, um, that's the right. That's the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> I get my ID checked a lot, but you know, uh, um, it makes okay. sense. I would not and... suggest doing it at eighteen. Okay, so you would so anyone out there who is listening, who is young and considering doing it, you you would say to them, you do not suggest doing it 
at, at, at the yeah because i know a lot of yeah i know a lot of strip clubs do like you have to be 21 and i do think that that you're literally still a child at 18 i think it's important that like 21 mm-hmm. they're just kind of like you know you've lived life a little than mm-hmm. 18 <laughs> well you but know better than us so important. We respect your opinion. So, I mean, okay, so now at 24 years old, uh, an age where you have more than enough agency to make your own decisions and have your own feelings about the things that you do with your life, uh, uh, how are, you sound like you're very much enjoying the lifestyle. Yeah, um, I'm not super into it right now. I actually work with uh, kids now, so different... Left turn. Career change. yeah. But they're all really sweet. Um, I don't think they know what webkins are, and that's all right. You know, let's hope they don't know gone. about webkins or webcams. Mm-hmm. It really does. Like hearing that's a story true. like yours just now, I'm like already. Because uh, I mean, let's see. When you were 11, you're 24. That's like two. I'm not going to do math right now, but it's 2000 whatever. And uh, I mean, right now it's interesting with TikTok. Because on TikTok, there's fucking a ton of, like, little kids, like, you know, like, it, it was one thing to fuck around on the internet as a little kid when it was YouTube, because YouTube things don't go as, like, mm-hmm. crazy viral as they do on TikTok, whereas, like, you know, a, yeah. a, 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 an 11-year-old now fucking around on TikTok, they could be, like, you know, d- exposing themselves to, like, uh, hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of thousands of people just, like, lightning fast with the way that TikTok works. It's... it's Pretty fucking terrifying. Yeah. And the algorithm, it's like the most advanced the- algorithm of all time. So if you're a 14 year old boy and it's yeah. like, you, you see like one video of shaking ass and you start to get a little crazy about it, that algorithm yeah. is just going to feed you ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Feed you just nothing but and ass. And it's like, you think it's so cool, you know? Like, oh my God, look at all this attention that I'm getting. Like, wow. that's kind of where I was at with the comment on mm-hmm. my YouTube video. I was like, oh my gosh, someone actually cares. <laughs> that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But. You know, there's a lot of iPad kids where like tablet kids, like they'll talk about their tablets in school. I'm like, what are you doing? You're like four. You know, like what are you doing on your tablet? <laughs> so you're saying you wouldn't let your kid use a tablet till how old? Um, I don't know. Like maybe, I don't, I don't even fucking know. You know, I didn't. I think about that too. I think up. about that. I'm wondering. It's like. With the technology that's there now that or, wasn't there when we were kids. Yeah. If we were to have a young gecko, we would have a, what do they call it, like a, what, what's? I say tadpole. People tadpole? Are like frog, people, that's a frog. If we were to have a tadpole. You can say it anyway. No one cares about what things are. Is that, is that something that you would want the tadpole to have an iPhone when it's five years old and to have an iPad when it's very young? And is that normal now? Because to, to keep up with everybody else? Or would you try to lessen the, the Netflix and the fucking... Animal Crossing, you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. it might be good for development. I don't really know I these think, answers. Me neither. I don't know. I think it's important to kind of like get those core memories. You know, I got core memories of fucking losing myself in the neighborhood trying to find my way home. <laughs> you know, like mm. it's all right. Homeward Going bound. To strangers house. It's like, you know, it builds character. Like you'll be all right. Call. Well, Margo. I guess they don't have house. <laughs> Margo, is there anything you want to say to the people before we go? Um, my friend Vanilla Wafer says hi to Tim. Um, she calls a lot. I've never actually watched the podcast. I see all on TikTok. You know how it is, but beautiful. Um, she mentioned me to call call in, so here I am. But well, we appreciate um, you calling, Margo, and um, you know, get bless you for a thousand years. Uh, to y'all too. Take it easy. Good night. You too. Much love. You know, I was going to ask you, this is going to be one of my first questions. Your whole thing is you're on the computer pretty much forever. You're pretty much just spending with what you do all day, Make every music day. music on, on the, the computer. computer. You're on the computer. Whenever, I'm, whenever people want to do interviews with me, it's about stuff I do on the computer. Yeah. When I stream, it's on the computer. Yeah. When we do the YouTube show, it's about me being on my computer. You're, you're a digital man. That's a, When you're a producer, your computer is like your sword. You know, yeah. it's like it's your main thing. Are you? Do you ever? Do you ever look at your? You, 
what's your tolerance for like, okay, if I've been on the computer for 12 hours, do you ever just want to take it and like throw it across the room and go, I am free now. I'm going out into the woods with a tent, no computer, no phone. I'm tired of this thing. Yes, but it's not in the way you would think. It's not like I sit there for eight hours one day and I go, oh, that's too much. And yeah. I need a break. I'll do like a solid week and a half, two weeks of like 12 hours plus of producing or doing streams or doing yeah. whatever, just working on my computer, working in the studio. And then at the end of two weeks, you feel like you're going to die. You look at the SpongeBob meme where he's dehydrated. Yep. It's kind of the vibe. I just I work myself into this fucking trench. And then I take a trip, I live my life, experience the world a little bit, come back to the music, come back to the computer. But a lot of people don't realize, especially creative people, people who do art, who do music, you have to live your life to make good art. Yeah, I'm... Uh, to get out there, to get back in there. I've been thinking about that all the time because I'm like, you know, I'm also a computer guy. I'm on the, We're on the computer right now. You're editing on the computer. You're emailing on the... You're doing everything on the computer and you're like, shit, when I'm on my deathbed, am I going to be like... I mean, of course, I'm very grateful that I get to do this. I, I love, you know, getting to do this work and everything. But when I look back, I'm going to be like, fuck, I just spent my whole life on the computer. Doesn't even regardless of what you were doing on there, you're still on the computer. Well, think of it this way: if you sleep eight hours a night, the recommended amount that's a yeah. third of your entire life. Yes. And then if you're on the computer for eight hours, that's another third. Yeah, but cut that sleep down to five hours. It's an extra three hours. Do whatever the fuck you want. You know. You only I mean? sleep five hours. I sleep about five hours. Every every night only five hours. Yeah, yeah. And that works for you. I'll get seven on a really good night, but usually yeah, five. Do you do what? You, coffee, Red Bull. What are you? Yerba, yerba mate. Yerba mate. Yeah, strictly. This is not an ad, though. They're not paying me. Do you get tired? Like, in the middle of the day, you ever take a nap? I get tired from the gas. The fucking the weed will get me a little tired here and there, and then you boost back up with the caffeine. Very unhealthy. Mm. Oh, I should have the mic. Sorry. The weed makes me tired. The caffeine boosts me back up. Mm. This uh, joint was given to me from a young gentleman named Babytron. The, what's the silliest noise you think you can make? The silliest? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hey, let's talk to someone on the phone. Kenny Beats Incorporated. Don't overthink shit. The brand and twitch.tv slash Lyle Forever will not be liable for anything that gets said from this point forward once I've hit the za. Josh from Orlando. How are you? What's up? Man. Just out here chilling, man. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're good. We're good. Where are you calling in from? What's going on? Well, I'm calling from my bathtub in Orlando, because, okay. you know, <laughs> chilling, vibing. Vibing in the tub. I like that. Does the tub have water in it? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Warm right. water, okay, bro. Okay, you already okay. know. Watch the phone, but okay. Be safe. <laughs> Josh, it says here that uh, you feel like there is a stigma in society against taking baths. <laughs> and yes, you feel like baths are satisfying men. and enjoyable. Now, I'm curious, what evidence have you seen out in the world, conversations you've had with people that make you feel like the world, society at large, is anti-bath? Well... Uh, I wouldn't say for like women, but especially for men, uh, mm, especially okay. of my age group. Mm -hmm. um, You're 24 um, years old, it says. Because, you know, like... Oh, yeah, 28. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you think that so, um, um, men uh, around the age range of 28... For men, what do you believe society yeah. thinks is the cutoff point for baths? Well, if you don't grow into into it you know into like a regular thing of you doing it um you basically uh don't you know really tend to gravitate to it later on in your you know as you grow up because especially when it comes to like you know other countries it's like i think that's stigmatized because you know as you grow up in other countries like i did uh, masculinity tends to be uh, overblown out of proportion. So pam things like pampering yourself tend to be viewed like as a taboo for men, uh, especially if you're like, you know, like a heterosexual man. 
um, it tends to be like, you know, a really big taboo because, you know, you can't really be open, uh, like you can't really open up to your friends or like people that you know about pampering yourself and stuff like that, you know, like getting pedicures or like getting a back massage or something like that, you know. Mm. Like especially like taking baths and taking care of yourself, you know. I especially enjoy it, like you know, after a long shift of work, getting into the bath is like literally the most relaxing thing that you could do. And what is wrong with that? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, let's even think about this. For the people who from other countries that might be the norm to consider that, you know what I mean, not a thing that men do or whatever. We can understand there's there's toxic masculinity that is baked into a lot of yeah. different places that makes it feel like just Getting a manicure, a pedicure, doing something like that makes you less of a man or less tough or less whatever it is. But think yeah. about it logically. How does having some crusty, dusty, unmoisturized ass skin or fingers, whatever it is, how does that make you tougher? I don't understand. How does that make you more ready to support your family? I don't see how having taken no care of yourself and your body in the vessel that houses all these these manly ideas i don't understand how you're even able to be your masculine best self if your skin is drying up and crackling and your nails are ingrowing and you haven't moisturized in a while and you're taking these quick hot showers that are drying you out you've got it figured out clearly you know what makes you feel good yeah. and you're acting on it and i think no, you should continue really. to do that because you're a grown-up you're 24 years old and who the fuck gives a shit if someone doesn't like I'm, baths I'm the manliest you thing know, you yeah. could do Josh, is make decisions on your own Fuck as em. to what you define to be manly or or uh, a strong or any of these things. You the, the definitions of those things. It's up to you to define what is right. what is strength. Right. And that's that's even more badass. Right. Going against the rules is the yes. most manly thing you can do. It's like yes. fucking riding into the sunset. You're not drinking whiskey. It's mm-hmm. like you're 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 going against. <laughs> You're going against the grain, you know what I mean? By being fucking moisturized and fucking soft and conditioned. Taking baths is punk rock. Facts. No, facts. For real, bro. For now, real. Josh, I have, a, I have a question. In Orlando, it's super punk rock even just to, to bathe. Oh, really? Because they're all... Uh, what? It's a joke, a little Florida joke. Shout out to everybody from Florida. Are you from Florida? No, no, I'm not. Hell yeah. Josh, I have a question. I have an important question. Hell yeah. I have an important question. Go ahead. What are your what's your opinion, your thoughts, your feelings about sitting down in the shower? That's what I do. I don't take baths. Sitting down in the shower? But I will sit down. It depends on your shower shape. Some people that makes no sense for the shape of their shower. How so? No, like no, a... no. L- listen, okay, so like if you're in a bath. It honestly kind of feels a little bit out of position because, you know, you're like in water, right? But if you're taking a shower, sitting down, that is really, it feels good. Especially when it's a hot shower, that feels really good because the, the, velocity, the, the velocity of the like, water, is that what it is? Because it's like a more of a waterfall effect and there's the little faucet. Yeah, it feels, it feels, I mean, yes. If you, if you, because I've had the privilege to like actually like visit waterfalls, but waterfalls are cold as shit, man. So like, if you it's have a generalization like that, like about that waterfalls, was, like, all waterfalls are not cold, but continue, continue. That was a bit of a you're general, I didn't realize, a you're, a I didn't realize you're so I passionate that, about waterfalls. That was, bit, that was a bit of a generalization, but all but, waterfalls no, are not cold. No offense. But, no offense. But, but, no offense. Okay, okay. But, but where, I called, where I went to, like, you know, the places I went to, the waterfalls were it's fucking nerd, super cold, man. bro. But I still enjoyed it, though, you know, because it's like the pressure of the water, like you were saying. But, like... In the sense of sitting down in the shower as the, as the water is, like, especially if it's, like, hot water, like, just, you know, crashing on top of you, it makes you feel really relaxed. It almost feels like a back massage. It's God, therapeutic, I agree with you, you know? so much. Yeah, it was poetic. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Crashing By the way, I love the way you look at life. I love the way that you said I have had, the, just the way you phrase things. I had the privilege True. of visiting a waterfall. I like I li- I like. Yeah, that, because, man. See know, this? I'm inspired by you, Josh, because these these I'm trying I'm trying to find more uh, uh, beauty and contentment in the things that are uh, directly in front of me. A hot shower right. being one of them. The power of now. The power right. of now, exactly. A card totally. Yeah, especially and... you know, like I I personally I grew I grew up in. Sorry for cutting you off, bro. No, please. <laughs> uh, 
but uh but uh yes i personally i grew up in a in a place that was like really bleak you know like i don't know if you know about honduras but honduras has been like a you know i grew up in honduras honduras was a really dangerous country for a really long time and you know like you could just feel the stress in the air and just to be to be a functional male you have to basically let go of things and find ways to relax in regular things that you seem as like privileges but you don't really like you take for granted every day you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like for example little, little things like a, just like literally just sitting on the couch watching tv man mm -hmm. literally just little things like sitting on the couch watching tv just no, like just knowing that you're safe and feeling like you know no one's out there looking for you no one's trying to break into your house no one's trying to like you know kill you for for x and y reason and stuff like that you know Those are little things we kind of take, take for granted, and, you know, especially Definitely. in first world countries, kind of like where we're living, you know, uh, because quite, quite, yeah, quite, quite literally, you know, like you don't really know how privileged you are by just having hot running water, you know, 100%. I'm saying even right now, Look, we're able to come on here and have fun and talk about taking baths and wear gecko suits and this and that, but there's people in this chat, in your Discord, in my Discord, who are from every country around the world, especially countries like Russia, countries like Ukraine, countries that are going through all types of yes. things, countries that are going through things all year long that aren't on the news as much as things in Eastern Europe are on the news. And everybody in this chat right now, whether it's us or you guys, we're all civilians here. None of us are politicians. You know what I mean? None of us are people who make these rules. And the way we don't fuck with Trump They don't fuck with Putin over there. And the same goes for a lot of other countries. And I think what you're saying is very true. We got to take for granted the fact that we can even be on here tonight answering questions, having a little bit of fun with this community. Because there's a lot of people who are going through exactly what you're talking about. And just being able to watch TV and be safe, that's a huge thing. You know what I mean? I, I'm, you're inspiring the shit out of me. I'm also, I smoked a lot of weed in a very short period of time. I'm feeling a little, uh, no, 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 no. This a little is, lightheaded. This is, this is when it gets good. But... I love, yeah, I love where you're going with good, it, and bro. I think what you're, there's a lot of truth behind what you're saying. Yeah, I agree fully too, man. About the caffeine and the Kush, it's hitting me both from, mm -hmm. from every angle. Mm -hmm. I think you got you got to slow down with them jerbas, man. It's like it's, you're doing you're right, and down dude. Dude. No, you're right, dude. You, you're but jo but right. Josh, you're right, brother. For real, man. I, I I really really appreciate you sharing that sentiment with us. I think it's uh it's a great one. I also like that this call started very silly and came. You know, it was a good. That was a good transition. Yeah, It's TED Talk. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Of Florida. You know, no, like, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> shout, shout out, shout out to you guys. You know, I, I honestly, I have okay. So like, I, I'm from Kenny's Discord. I love talking to people. You know, like I love uh, try trying to I'm like, you know. Uh, I knew there was I'm something I liked everybody. about you. I knew there was something <laughs> I liked about you, Josh. <laughs> Yo. No, because you know, like uh, you you you're some real ones, you know. Because um, a lot of a lot of the a lot of the things that we go through the world, you know, like we kind of live in a pressure cooker, you know. Like we the the pressure is it's it's always there, you know. And like the more that you let it get to your head, the less you tend to take really good uh, actions or you know like decisions in your life, you know. And Yeah, like, you know, like little by little, it's, it's like an everyday thing, you know, little by little, if you're able to progress yourself in like little ways, you know, that you think are going to benefit you are always, it's, it's, it's a really positive thing, you know, and so that's why, you know, like uh, trying to talk and communicate with people that are like uh, of the similar mindset, you know, you kind of tend to forget about your past traumas, you can get to overcome them, you can get to be a better version of yourself, and that's what really is all about, you know. That's called motherfucking bars. This man is spitting. This is, my Discord. This is how my Discord is all the time. I'm spitting. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, Josh. Thank you so much for calling in tonight. Good luck to you. I don't know what the fuck you were talking about with any of that bath stuff, but you finished off strong as hell. We love you. Josh. <laughs> shout out to Orlando. No, shout out to Honduras. Gak bless you, Josh. Yo, shout out to both of you. Of course. Is there anything hell, yeah. that you want to say before we move on? Uh, honestly, honestly, bro, Kenny, you 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 one sexy ass motherfucker, bro. Don't let don't let don't don't let that shit get to you, bro. 
just relax, you know, let, let the Jervas, like, take a back, a back seat, you know, in your life, man. You can do the shit that you already do by yourself, man. Just, you don't need all of that. Yeah, smoke weed every once in a while, bro, but the Jervas kind of, you know, like, you, you got to slow it down, bro. <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm picking up on the frequency that you're putting down brother i I'll, I'll take that into consideration i'm gonna i'm gonna die drinking yerba but i will take that into consideration <laughs> have a great hey, night hey, Thank hey, you for calling i can you know? oh, pee right now i can pee you can pee right now i really have to pee go oh yeah go pee we're hang, we're, we're hanging take <laughs> go pee, I shirt? Yo, I'm yo, how yo. oh man no you can uh, you, you you what what kind of underwear are you wearing uh, uh, boxer briefs just pull just pull it all down you, you're like uh you're like a little kid at the urinal with those pants all the way down. That's what you yeah, it's, okay, it's okay if I could be. Josh, why is Josh still listening to this about me? We're, we're, we're hanging out. Josh, yeah, no hey, 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 laugh. Josh, why are you laughing, Real. Josh? Why are you laughing now, hey, Josh? Hey, 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 I'm the third gecko. Shit. All right, fine. All right, fine. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. It's all good. <laughs> listen, listen, man. Listen, man. I'm a little. I got to pee. Yo, that, that was a fast ass pee. Kenny, though. Kenny, you can go pee. What do you, Kenny? What do you, what, what? Tell me, tell me your problems right now. I will, I will help you. I feel nervous. Like I, I can't see the chat, so I don't want, I don't want anybody to like, feel like I'm a. Uh, no, you're not. You no, know, you're fine. I feel, I feel like that. I feel like I'm not taking it serious because I'm going to the bathroom. We don't, I go to the bathroom. I'll pee myself right here. Go to. Here's what. Okay, you go. I feel like that's against the rules. <laughs> no, 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 no. You go to the bathroom, and then when you come back, I'll go to the. I'll, when you go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom. Hey, I'll talk to chat. When you hey, come back, you think Josh ever peed in the bath? Yo, yo. <laughs> That's secretly all the stuff you were it's talking about, MLP. about how amazing it's. That was just the pee part. It that took you were him a second to, to say no. It took him like a, like a like a little longer than you would think to say no. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! There's no go pee, Kenny. You gotta go pee. <laughs> all the way down. There's no. Uh... All right, we did it. Uh, hey, I'll talk to you soon, Josh. Hey, be easy, man. What a wonderful evening we're having this evening on therapy, Gecko. You know, I'm very, I'm very impressed by uh, all all the inside jokes and the 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 lore that Kenny Beats has built behind himself. So I I am I feel like I'm a part of something now. It's a wonderful thing you got going. I have to pee now, too. When he gets back, I'm going to pee. Kenny. 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 Can you can you talk to the chat while I go pee? Do you have to pee now? I have to pee now. Oh, shit. How was it? Did you did anything? Because sometimes I'll, like, I'll come back and from peeing, and I'll have accidentally gotten a little bit on the suit. No, no. I'm good. Okay. You are good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Everybody from my Discord, fucking actor age. I see a lot of names I recognize. There will be a reckoning back in my discord after this for everybody who's talking shit in the chat it's it's smoke when i get back to my stream don't think it's sweet because i'm in a gecko costume you know how i get down have you heard any of denzel's new album um i haven't listened to the whole album yet but i love uh there are two of his singles that song walking yes he does sick i bump that song video is amazing too yeah i love that song uh I haven't I haven't listened to anything else off the album yet though. I did one on there. Oh, you did? Which one was it? Which I listened to yours? Troubles. Uh, Troubles. T Pain and Denzel. Okay, beautiful. I got yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Video out now. Shout out to Denzel, former Gek, great guy. You 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 both are part of a very special green club we got going on. How many uh, total Gecks have there been? Oh man, uh, under ten probably. Wow. Probably under ten. So Elite. Far. So you're in the elite, uh, elite first 10 category. Wow, I love that. You want to take a phone call? Let's get into it. What are we here for, right? How you feeling? I'm good. Me too. I do this shit, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I live on OBS. Yes, sir. I was born into Streamlabs, raised by it. Let's talk to Robert from California. Robert? Oh, my God. Hello. How are Hello? you, Robert? Hey, Rob. Uh, Oh, oh my God! Hello, it's Kenny. Hello, it's, it's, Hi, it's Lyle too. Can y'all hear it's me? Lyle also. Listen, it's it's not Kenny. It's Lyle. Not Lyle. Lyle. It's oh. two guys hanging out in the sky, being geckos, 
talking to you. Robert from California it says here you would like to ask Kenny for some advice. It says that it says here, uh-huh. Robert, yeah. that you and your friends are trying to expand their friend group, but you keep encountering people every time you try to expand that you say exhibit quote weird behavior. Yeah, explain all right. that a little well, more, a lot, Robert. Explain so, that. Yeah. Explain that a little deeper for me. All right, so you know, Kenny, I've been following you and your your pain chain shit like that. You know what I mean? Ask for some advice. I don't know if you remember. I'm the one that's uh, referred to a girl as little mama, and you didn't like that. You said that was a red flag. Yeah. But, uh, I'm yeah. Following you. Okay. Okay. I, I remember. Then, what, for, for those, what what was the uh, what was the context of this? For those who don't uh, know, Rob, go ahead. So on the pain chain. I, I basically told Kenny, I was like, listen. Just for everybody who's watching who doesn't know what the pain chat is, on my stream, we do a thing called the pain chat for young people who make music who are down bad. It all started with a producer who uh, co-produces with their best friend, and their best friend started fucking their ex-girlfriend. And we had to work our way through that one. Oh, man. And then it progressed. But people like yeah. Rob have uh, messaged in before, and I think Rob called um, his love interest Lil Mama, and I might have corrected him on that. Okay, so you took you, you your opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your opinion on the the little mama? I might have just not liked how he used it in context. I feel like I can't remember the details, to be honest. Okay, so Robert, you're you're following. No, I, I. On that. Yeah, well, on, that? on that part, I actually, I actually just picked her up right now. She's right here. Oh, Hello. apparently. Uh, but, or, 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 what, she thought uh, she. Does it? Does she have? Does she have a name? I was about to call funny. her little mama. I don't know. <laughs> what is? What is uh, uh, little mama. That's why. She said she's fine with that right now. Yeah. You don't have to hide a little mama. Yeah. All right, but anyway, is her is her is her, is her, is her name little mama? What you what you know? Was, she, that's what she wants to go by for right now. Who was the girl who jumped on stage with she, she with, with Jay Z and uh with Jay Z and Alicia Keys? I know that. That's that little was, mama also, but that's a different. That was little mama also. Mama? Yeah, yeah. What you know about me? What you what you know? My lip gloss is. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, continue, Rob. Yeah, what's this thing? Okay, you said... No, but anyway... Well, Mama aside, you said that you are trying to expand your friend group, but you keep everyone you find is displaying weird behavior. What do you mean by weird behavior? What is that? So, yeah, we, we work in a warehouse, you know, and we're trying to make friends with people, but these motherfuckers just, like, they... I'm sorry if I can't cuss, by the way, but uh, people just, like, weird. Like, for example, this one guy, he seemed cool. We were talking to him. And then he ends up letting us know, like, any new girl that shows up to the building, he's just shooting a shot viciously. No, like, you no, read, no, like, no, three, no, four no, books no, on the no, topic. No, 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 Yeah, exactly. Give me, give me another yeah, example. That's one bad apple. apple. That's one bad apple. Give me another example. What else? What's another example? There's, there's another guy that stood out because I'll have meetings and shit at work. And then, like, he would just stand there in the back and he just start shadow bossing out of fucking nowhere. Yo, just, I, mean, I like, like that guy. Just talk punch, no, just I like that guy. He's just, so he's just punching the air. No, himself. that's a guy you want around in case if shit starts, man. No, you you absolutely want the no, shadow boxing no. guy in your friend group. Are I you don't, I me? don't know, Rob. I'm a, I'm on your side, Rob. I'm not sure about him. Rob, by the way, wouldn't no, yeah, you rather man, look, man. look, Rob? Wouldn't you rather know for a fact you're on at least know for a fact you're on the good side? Shadow boxing is crazy by by himself in the warehouse in the corner. No, yeah, no, that that man, like, you see him around, he just starts fucking boxing out of nowhere with the air, and it's fucking weird. Have you? Okay, hold on. Hold no, wait, wait, anyway, how's his technique? Like how's his technique? How's his technique? It, honestly, it's not that bad. I think he was actually on some, like, low level, you like, right. you n- right. all, not pro level, but he was, me, like, okay, boxing something. pretty well. Let me ask you this, Robert. Right. Have you have, have you ever spoken to Shadowbox guy? You ever go up to him? You ever start making conversation with him? I haven't, but the homies have, and they said that he is off hinged. Let me tell you something, Robert. And this is my personal thing. I, I maybe you got to speak his language. Go you, up to him, trying to fucking try to punch you, him. Look, man, your homies can say whatever they say, but you, you got you, you to find out for yourself, man. You can't just go off of what your homies think. I, I wouldn't want someone's first impression of me to be based on what other people are saying about me. You know, I'd want them to meet me my, themselves. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, the sad thing on his case, though, is that he got fired. I don't know why, but he got yeah, fired. Well, might have been the boxing. Might have been the boxing yeah. thing. <laughs> That's my first, my first yeah. suspicion is oh. it was the boxing. Okay, so he's out. All right, so he's oh, he's we, out. We, we got another homie. Love him to death. We actually hang out with him. But, like, that motherfucker, for whatever reason, always thinks that we, like, 
talking about him. Like sometimes I'll be talking with the homies or the homegirl, and then he'll see us like laughing in the distance, and you'll start yelling like, "Hey, y'all talking shit about me!" And he'll start fucking yelling at us across the warehouse. Okay. And we'll the, be like, "My first guy, two, so first easy. two, Robert, first two were tough. First two might you might be you might be you're definitely right about the first guy, shadow box guy up in the air. This third homie might be just dealing with a little bit of depression, dealing with a little bit of um, self worth issues, and that's okay. I think uh, we can, the, the third homie, that's an issue we can solve. That's someone who's just dealing with some shit right now. We can get through that. But the other two, that is that is a little bit um, concerning that you guys have invited two different people into your close-knit group of friends. And one of them um, clearly is dealing with some kind of like MMA PTSD. And then the other one is just a, a bad, scary guy. I think your selection process might need to get a little bit more strict moving forward. That would be my first guess, on, Rob. On our, you know, yeah, trust. It, it, it's real strict. That's why none of them are making the cut except that last one. He, he's the only one we, we brought in. Okay, okay. But you're the, looking, the you're, you're one, looking you're why are you looking to expand? What do you guys, why do you guys need to expand? Do you guys have a plan coming Good up? Question. Is there is there a reason why you need so many new people in the group? We're, me and Lyle have been on this no new friends Drake thing for years. Yeah, it's working yeah, for us. Yeah. Well, well, we've been on that for a long time, but we feel like sometimes it's okay to let people in. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to have more people but, on but, your side. But, but you're not – you're not. these are not applications being submitted to you that you're starting through. You're actively going out there and trying to recruit, it sounds. How no, many we're, people... we're trying to recruit because the people that act... – uh-huh. Okay, let me, uh, let me ask yeah. you something, Robert. How many people uh, – how many deep are we currently? In the group at work, or just in general? In 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 the uh, friend group that you have that you have selected. Well, How many people do we have so far? At work, we got like one, two, three, four. We run at least six deep, six, seven deep. Six deep. I think. Cut it off. No way, no. Cut, no. It off. Cut it off. Cut, Cut it off. off. That's a, we, we done there. The, you got you, you got the starting five plus a bench warmer. You guys got are more than enough as it is. Why are you gonna How are you gonna get into spots with eight people? Whenever, whenever the boys are going out, how are you getting in anywhere with eight people? Not if you're going to the hot spots. What, what city are you from? You're from California. Oh, you're right. You're in LA. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You know how you know how these lines are, bro. In no, we San Bernardino. IE. Oh, and IE it's even not worse. IE, we rap even worse. Y'all yeah. going to a Shoreline Mafia concert? Right. There's no way we're sneaking in eight of the homies. We only do it five deep, six deep max. You're already maxed out. So we done, Kenny. We we done, Lyle. We, we I, cutting it off. I, I think you're done. What what more? Can I? Well, I would, hey, we got to invite Shadowbox guy out one night, just one night, yeah. and see, just, just, to, just to see what happens for the story. I still, I still would. My vote is yes for the Shadowbox guy. I agree. Invite him out one night. See what happens. Everybody needs a wild card. Do you guys have a wild card? Uh, well, I don't know. the The last one I was gonna bring up, he wanted me to. He asked me to bring up the story. There's a different guy. He had a dream once. They came up to me, and I told him, hey, maybe you got some stuff to work through, bro. I'll be here for you. But he he doesn't want to face these things. He, he told me, he came up to me. He's like, hey, bro, my dream, I got high last night, knocked out. And I had a very erotic dream about the second guy that I listed. That, that's what the homie told me. He's like, I had a very erotic dream about that guy, and I, I'm so terrified. It was a nightmare. And I told did my your guy, homie say, Yo, did, your homie say the words, did your homie specifically say the words, I had a very erotic dream? No, he was way more vulgar. But the thing is, I'm not sure what the rules are. I don't want no one getting in trouble. You know what I mean? Listen, Robert. I appreciate listen, that. I appreciate you, you Robert, was... Robert. Robert. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, before we go. If my, to... if my homie says to me, I had a very erotic dream of hanging up. Uh, there you go. I what guess. do you feel like is not, what do you feel like is missing from the friend group, from you, that you are looking for as you as you embark on this quest to add to the group? What do you, what do we feel like is missing? Because I want to see real quick. Maybe whatever like is missing need... is already there, but we don't we don't see it. I feel like we need another everybody type of guy because I'm like down for all the activities, but well, I actually know. I think that's just me. I feel like I need another everybody type of person. See? You know why? You're that's searching what... for the guy to bring in something to the friend group all along? The guy... Was you, Robert? I'm not trying to overstep, Robert, but did you have an erotic dream about yeah. the homies? No, I haven't. No, I have not. Be honest, Robert. No, I'm I'm, I'm being honest. We we got some other guys from overseas that came in. They call us 
like daddy in Spanish and all that stuff, that shit funny as fuck, but no. I have I've never dreamt about nothing none of the homies. Okay. I believe you. Listen, Robert. Uh, I swear. Yeah. I think I think I think you have I think I think you have what you need, Robert. I think uh -huh. you have enough homies. I think you are a are a homie to the homies. You're a homie of mine now. There you go. Bless. Love. Josh, All anything right, you want to say to the people of the computer before we continue? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hello? Josh? Hello? Josh? Josh. Uh, I'm Robert. Hello? Oh. Oh, Robert. Oh, baby? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Robert. yeah Robert. You, you got to uh, uh, Names are just sounds. Robert. Yeah. No, no, it's, all, it's all good. What's it called? Uh, my final words is, uh, Kenny, you the birthday brother. We share the same birthday. Every year I, I shot you out on our birthday. Sometimes you like it. Sometimes you retweet it. I fuck with you. Love you. Uh, May 10th, also, legend. That, exactly. That's what it's all about. And then, uh, two, I want to get that floppy that floppy disk uh, design you got on the hat. I wanted to get it tattooed. But I can't find like a good high quality photo. Can you have the Scorpion or someone from the team like send it to me on Discord? The St. Patrick. Hundred percent. Want to get that shit tatted on me? Hit Disto. I'll get you a high fi image next twenty four hours. No problem. Send me a picture of the tat when you get it. All right, bless. Uh, name the St. Patrick so he knows. Okay, we got you, St. Patrick. Appreciate you, Robert. Thank you so much. Have a good night, Robert. All right. Hello. About to get the tattoo. I, have you had people get a tattoo of you? We have, I have this neon sign in my studio that says don't ever think shit. Right. And a lot, we've had thousands of tattoos. Oh, that's cool. It's fucking crazy. That's sick. Robert was dreaming about the homies, huh? Robert, I, I, I didn't know what he, first of all, I, I love the shadow boxing guy. I think all three of the people yeah. are, are just Robert. <laughs> kind of like our earlier, like the, like her sleep yep. demon was her. Yep. Yep. Amanda, was it? I think. Amanda, yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, Robert is the shadow box guy, mm -hmm. and he's been dreaming about the homies. And then uh, he's not the first guy. The first guy, I think, was somebody else sketchy. I'm not going to put that on him. He, uh, I, I, I can see why he maybe wanted to like get our opinion on all of those guys. It's a veiled way of actually getting our opinion on things going on with him, but he didn't want to admit it. That's all good, though. I, I appreciate the tactic. You know what I mean? Maybe he just wanted to make it easier on everybody. He seemed like a good guy. He did. Shout out to you, Robert think you're setting a trend lyle and honestly from the guests to how you carry your channel to the way you've been maneuvering this i just i like what i'm seeing i'm very i'm very impressed thank you very much mr kenny beats i God, appreciate yeah. that not that, not that i'm who am i to be impressed i'm just saying no no I'm, i appreciate that very much I, I i'm impressed with you on how you i was saying well i said this while you were peeing but i was like i'm very impressed with like all the 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 lore that you have within the uh community the call and response the the pain chat all the different like things that are like so wrapped up that you gotta explain them you know yeah i mean it's impressive to build that deep all these people are willing to come in and watch us have a conversation or whatever it's like i just i don't take it for granted kind of like yeah one of our guests were saying like even was, just i them, think that was josh was that josh that might have been josh yeah josh yeah but the josh, bath guy yeah yeah josh was the bath guy he was saying just sitting on the couch watching TV. It's like yep. coming from Honduras. He's like, he yep. appreciates the fuck out of that. Yep. I appreciate this shit. There's 4,000 people on just, just Twitch, let alone the Reddit, all the geniuses mm -hmm. on Reddit. Mm -hmm. Like, that's an amazing thing, you know? And if someone, even through a joke tonight, even through us fucking around, smoking a little bit of devil's lettuce, somebody might not think about their problems for two hours. Somebody might have an actual real stress thing that they're mm -hmm. not going to call in about or tell mm -hmm. anybody about. And that might just be laughing at two geckos for 45 minutes and taking their mind off it. That's a beautiful thing to me. Yeah, man. I, I, I hope that, like, so, I feel like sometimes uh, people won't want to call in about something, but somebody else will call in about it, and then they'll be like, oh, I'm glad that, you know, they talked about that without me having to call so in. It was my problem also. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like for every one call you're taking, you're touching thousands of hearts. Man, this is very sweet of you to say. I meant it. I appreciate it, man. I, uh, I just try to sit here and be a gecko and, uh, you know, you ever fucked in the gecko suit? Let's take a call. All right, next up. Hello, Maddie. Hello. Yes. Hello. Maddie. Uh, oh you're on my with God. Kenny beats and Lyle forever. Two geckos on the computer at this very moment in time. 
We lost I'm literally Jason. freaking out. I know who I'm on with. It's just crazy. I can't believe it. I've called like every freaking day of the week. Well, three wow. days of the week that you stream. Wow. I'm just kidding. Anyway. Maddie, it's an honor to be talking. I, 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 it's an honor to be talking to you as well. And uh, I, Maddie, Maddie, listen, Maddie. Maddie. Yes. Maddie, it says here that you worry you haven't done anything with your life yet and that this is resulting in an existential crisis. She's 19. 19. 19. Okay. Anything else? Any, any other brain busters? Um, do I have brain busters? No, no, no. Continue. Sorry. That's from a movie. Oh, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm stressed, you know. I just work in restaurants all the time, and that's all I do, and that's all my family's ever done. I'm like, I'm just 20 right now. Well, I'm about to be 20. I'll be working in restaurants, and then that's all I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's not what I want. Do you have any interests, Maddie? Is there anything that you're really into? Are you into music? Are you into fashion? Are you into TV? Is there something that you like outside of work, outside of just hanging out with your friends that you're interested in? Yeah, like mostly I just paint all day every day. I also have been trying to animate on my computer recently. Because like I'm super into cartoons and like, um, yeah, just all cartoons. Let me tell you something, Maddie. Have you uh, ever heard of um, an, a music artist named Jay-Z? I oh, am, yeah, sounds familiar. If you're familiar with Jay-Z. I'm just kidding, um, yeah. Jay-Z... Jay-Z okay. was turned down from every record label, every major record label, at the age of 27 years old because he was too old. Mm. He has um, sold more, he's had more number one albums for a solo male artist than any solo male artist in history. That includes Elvis. Uh, Mark Cuban from the famed show Shark Tank, owner of the Dallas Mavericks, everybody's favorite billionaire. Mark Cuban had zero dollars at 28 years old, cash poor. No money. He is now one of the most famous billionaires, NBA team owners. One more example for you. <clears throat> Bill Withers. Who is that? One of the greatest songwriters of all time. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> oh, I know Lean that. on me. He did those? When you're right. not. He also did a, there's a lot. There's a lot of Bill Withers legend. He put out his first album at 33 years old. One of the greatest songwriters in American history. Worked at a factory for most of his life. And then started getting a guitar at a pawn shop and put some music out. At 19 years old, you can do fucking anything, Maddie. You know how many times I fucked up when I was 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26? I can't believe I get to do the things I get to do in my career now. I didn't really figure out how to start working hard, how to start focusing until 26. At 19, working in a restaurant is par for the course it's par for the course even older than that my dad worked in restaurants too i understand you feel like because your family's doing that and they're way older you're just going to be at your age doing that you're going to do that when they're their age that's not true you're going to be a fucking pixar animator with a side business that helps <laughs> other people like you who work in restaurants start their own development for series and then on top of that you're going to be fucking making fine art oil paintings and selling those for a million a clip you just haven't gotten to it yet and you're going to serve a couple more damn plates. And you're going to take a couple more damn orders. And that's part of the that's part of the fucking game. But you know what? You're on your way to greatness, Maddie. Lyle, take it. Maddie. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Going motivated. Matt, yes! Maddie, 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 how do you how do you how do you how do you feel about all the things that Kenny Beats has just told you? What, after taking a, a, a bit of time to, to process them, what is your what is your feedback? What do you how do you think that everything he's told you is factoring into uh, the thoughts that you've been having and, um, you know, your, your current desires for your life. How, how do they, how do they harmonize? Well, I'm feeling extremely motivated. I have to say good. Whoever that guy was that has $0 and then has like however much dollars he has. Well, so that's how I would something. like to be. Oh, it's, it's Mark Cuban. It's always oh, I thought, oh, no, I thought it was a different guy. Mark Cuban, anyways, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling very motivated. I would, you know, so thank you. There's a lot of things on social media that make you feel like if you're not doing it at 19, at 20, at 21, that you're not moving as fast as all these young stars and people. Everybody's path is different. You know what I mean? Some people in this chat right now, you're going to be the greatest at one thing, but you might not be ready for it at 21. I know if I got some of the opportunities I get now, 
like being a gecko even. At 21 years old, I wasn't ready for this. Mm. Was, I had no advice to give anybody. I hadn't lived enough yet. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with a lot of my business dealings and relationships in my career is if they were handed to me at 19 years old, I would have fucked them up. I would have signed a bad deal. I would have done a bunch of things that I wish I would have never done. And it happened for me later in my career. And it might happen for you a little later than those people on TikTok, Maddie, but it doesn't mean it won't be just as great, if not greater. We love you. All you really have to do, by the way, is I, I, you, three things. I, I was three things. Uh, yeah. Don't have a child. Don't go to jail. <laughs> don't die. And you can kind of, you can kind of do whatever, do whatever you want if you don't do those three things. I'm co-signing that. If you don't do those three things, you're free. You can, uh, you know, throw your phone away and take a one-way ticket to a foreign country and just walk around and eat food. Eat, pray, eat, pray, love. Eat, pray, love. Yeah, yeah. What do you see in your future? But I would run out of money. I mean, you're only well, you're only 19. I, I want to kind of find out like what you're doing right now, real quick. I mean, are you in college? Are you you're you're are, what what do you feel see, like your, your next this, step this, will be? Yeah. So um, so I didn't finish high school. So like, oh, okay. So you might say like that's the next step. There, you might say I did drop out of high school and then um. I didn't. I didn't go to college, obviously. So th that's where I'm at. And I'm working okay. at Philly. I could name <laughs> ten other legendary people who dropped out of high school. That's yeah, okay, oh, I Maddie. think the fucking. I mean, yeah, high school and college. I mean, I think that shit is stupid. Like, I mean, it, what we do right now, we don't have to go to school to do it. And also for what you want to do, animation and uh, painting, YouTube University, baby. Right, well, was, fuck yeah, YouTube University, to do dude. Fun. Yeah, where I wouldn't have to like worry about any of that stuff. Anymore. I was hoping that. Well, I'm like, not, I'm like I'm not even honest. saying this. I'm not saying this to make you feel better. I promise. I'm being a hundred percent honest, Maddie. I went to music school. I went to Berkeley College of Music. If you're if, if, if you're someone who does music, it's a school that they make seem like a very big deal. And it is a great school. Yeah. But I'll tell you something. The years I went there, the things I learned, the books that I had to get, the teachers I had, all these things, the amount of that knowledge that is on YouTube right now, if you know what mm -hmm. to look for is probably in the 95 percentile of anything that I took in college, any course that I had to pay money for, my parents had to pay money for, I had to take out a loan for, any one of those courses I took or years I was in college, whatever, you can get all of that info on YouTube and learn it your way. And there's nothing wrong with learning it your way. That's honestly how a lot of the biggest geniuses in the world only know how to work. You might need to just look for the right video. You know, you need to look for the right teacher online. And, and you know, with uh, with a, a lot of the yeah. artsy stuff, like animation, for example, there are people. I have friends that went to film school, and you know, you pay out the ass to go to film school. With that money, you could you could have made a film. You made a fucking you could film. Have made an animation. Proving your you concept. Right. But um. So yeah, Maddie. I mean, look, fucking. Uh, I I I don't like. Uh, and you know, whatever. I'm the 500th person to say that I don't like college and the education system and shit. But like, I don't like. I don't like any institution that like really wants it to seem like it's do or die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, it, it, it really. I I hate that school it, like positions itself as if you don't succeed in me, that's it. You know, and it's just a very closed way of of looking at things. It's and not all true. I can say is is to urge you to um, look look outside of that at the uh, infinite possible. I mean, this is the greatest time ever. I think to be a human being, we have the internet, we have infinite resources to you know do do artsy shit like what you're talking about. You ever so. heard? You ever heard "My Way" by Frank Sinatra? I love "My Way" by Frank Sinatra. I did it my way. You should, you should yes, bump that one time. Were times. Yeah, yeah. Bump that one time tonight, I'm Maddie. I'm sure you knew. There might be like a fucking house remix or some shit too you can throw on with a drop. But check out it's check it's out uh, Frank Sinatra, My Way, and then see how that makes you feel, Maddie. Thanks for calling in tonight. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you. Have a good night, Maddie. You too. I love people from Michigan. There's something about people from Michigan. Yeah, they got a good heart. Yeah, I'm a. You know, I was gonna. I was. I was gonna. T I tell every, every time we sort of get a call like that. My advice is always. To, I tell people to make TikToks. That's just how to lift yourself out of any issue you have as a young adult. Is just TikTok. Oh well, that's no, specifically a thing where they're like. Uh, I wasn't you know, saying you're wrong. I was just asking. Oh no, you could. I mean, look, like, 
because uh, uh, I don't know. I feel like people in the in the modern age are more so like you know building brands off of uh, internet bullshit that you can do without like going to school. I mean, if if you want to be like a doctor or a lawyer or some shit, you can. I mean, you could be. A, I would. Could you be? Could you? Theoretically, learn how to be a doctor on YouTube. You think, like, do surgery and shit, bro? Are we getting Have you ever there? seen Catch Me If You Can? No, what is that the Leonardo DiCaprio movie where he fakes being a, a pilot, a doctor, all these things, and he, he like does the job for a couple weeks? You ever uh, seen? You ever seen the kid? I think he was from Florida, and he was like a fake doctor, and he was like wearing the trench coat shit. And he did all the interviews, and he's like, "Excuse me, uh, excuse me, sorry, uh, I'm getting a phone call. I'm gonna have to." Leave. And he left the interview. You never seen that kid? No, I haven't seen that. You can get real far faking to be a doctor. That's everybody else. Everybody who's not calling in tonight wants some just extra advice. See how far you can get being a fake doctor before you you tell yourself that you don't know what your life plan is or you don't know what you want to do. Catch me if you can. Great movie. I think like I wouldn't say the pilot thing, not so much. But just give it you to wouldn't, you. Wouldn't fake being a pilot? No, nah, it's fucked up. It's too, too, it's Wait, too how's, risky. It up, how's it fucked up to fake being a pilot? Well, because like a doctor. doctor, you can just give like a bad consultation. People should be getting second opinions. How about anyway. a surgeon? Can you fake being a surgeon? Dicey. I'm not going to say no. If you have YouTube Premium, okay. The information is objective, right? On how to do surgery, it's objective information. What is so? Can it? If it's being taught in the school system, it could theoretically exist on YouTube as well. I mean, I guess, but like, who? I wonder who's like the fucking. Who's like the Anthony Fantano of like YouTube surgery vids? You know what I mean? Like who's like, is there, there's vids like where you can cheat on doctor's tests? Like, is there stuff for like, can you be a lawyer off YouTube? Oh yeah, you can be a lawyer off YouTube. Really? A full pass the bar off YouTube. Oh no, you can't pass the bar off YouTube. But what is the bar? No, it's saying, just a system that's no, des- but... designed to control what is and what isn't. And no, we are here to define a, a, a new is. But couldn't you study enough on YouTube to go take the bar and pass it? Just YouTube with no no books. Oh yeah, probably. I bet someone's done that. So fucking cool. Honestly, gonna be if you're in school now and you're not cheating, like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? It's like yeah. Like, with I if I had an iPhone, I used to take a water bottle mm-hmm. and I would undo the glue on one part of the water bottle logo. Usually a Poland Spring. If you're from the East Coast, you know what I mean. I would undo. The logo, and then I'd write all the answers that I on needed the inside on the, the inside of, the, oh, of the paper around the water bottle. Then I'd re-glue the water bottle, and I just have the water bottle on my desk, and I'd slowly turn it and read the answers. Now I can just fucking iPhone anything. It's unbelievable. Cheat, cheat, and then go do the shit you want to do when your homework's done. Just cheat on that midterm, guys. I fully co-signed that. Did you cheat a lot? Well, because at Berkeley, uh, I guess you were doing. Well, did you have to do Gen Ed and then music? It's crazy cheating at Berkeley is so difficult because like it's like a lot of it's like. Uh, sheet music so you're, you're trying to cheat off the kid fucking jacob collier is sitting yeah. three rows ahead of you you yeah. know what i mean and there's Shout one you have collier. to figure out if he's using an f an a a c or an e on the staff and it's like a little tiny dot and you're trying to squint and see which dot that they it's tough it's not like just like there's words on a page you can just look at yeah, but now look at you, you you put out music you don't get a grade from like one i mean you get like a, a well you get a grade from like like pitchfork, but like you, I mean, yeah. you can get a grade from a critic, but are your streams your grade? Are your certifications right. your grade? Right. Who fucking knows, Lyle? Mm. Well, one more call, huh? Yeah, you want to do one more? Let's do one more. Let's do it. Any, here, look, anything, anything. Uh, I wonder anything? how, I really wonder how I'm ranking in the list of Gex. To in be the honest. list of Gex? Are you ranking number one in the list of yourself? I don't rank the guests, they're all great. <laughs> You're so political. I'm wondering. I'm wondering just where I'm sitting on the list. I don't need an answer right now. I want this episode to, to maybe like sit in with people, live on YouTube for a minute. But rank I'm, in what in what category? Just like am I like after there's there's a hundred Gex, no pun yeah. intended. After there's a hundred people on this show, sure. am I going to be on the Mount Rushmore? Like, will I be considered like one of the greatest episodes? Listen, this is going to be a political answer, but. Everyone brings their own thing. I can't get oh Kenny Beats. Fucking no, God. I can't get Kenny Beats in Zach Fox. I can't get Zach Fox and Kenny Beats and so on and so forth. Yeah, it depends if you ask them nicely. Yeah. But um, you know what I mean? What? He said he'd be in me. Oh. Forget it. Oh, it was a sex. Yeah, yeah. We'll take one more call. Will? Let it rip, Will. Hey. Hey, How buddy. How's it going? Wait, let me off. Uh, I don't know what you just said, but you are on the line with two geckos. 
How does it feel? Oh, feels awkward. Why does it feel awkward? Because my tongue's two gecko, two geckos. Give me Is a it okay? Let me take my can I, off. can I, can I, can I invite you to believe that it's okay if it feels awkward? Uh, yeah. Will, it says here that you have feelings for a married woman. It says you've known each other since high school, but she was always dating somebody, so you were never able to make a move, and you want advice yeah. on whether you should move on from this woman or if you should fight for your feelings. Is this correct? Is this accurate? So, yes, basically. Can I, can I tell my story real quick? Oh, yes, please. Go ahead. All right, so I met her in gym class my junior year, junior for summer. Uh, it's been since six years since I met her. Uh, she was really athletic. I was, really wasn't. She was Russian. I was Hispanic. She was Baptist. I was Catholic. But I met her. I liked her. I did a whole new sport that I didn't know about. I did track for her just to hang out with her. Will, I'm going to... After that semester... You could that, say she was running through your mind after, all day, huh? And Keep going, Will. Sorry. She basically was running. <laughs> Will, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, um, to cut you yeah. off and I'm going to tell you what I think about this. Is that okay? Okay. You should absolutely yeah, move on. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, my wife is how? Like... Okay, like so we, we've decided. We, we both are in rational day. mindsets. Yes, we should move on, but how? Right? Yeah, like this. This was something. Like, this is something I really had. I really had lots of feelings for. Honestly, someone that is I always thought of. You know, when should I make my move? When should I? When when was the right time? Are these feelings reciprocated? Was, do you have any? Do you have any? Um idea that this person might feel some type of way for you even though their current circumstance is that they are in a committed relationship can you say that again are you sure that this person has feelings for you as well or are you just acting on your feelings for them mm -hmm. I think I'm acting on my feelings on, on me but I my thing is I miss my opportunity many probably many times what, well, we're not talking about you right now. We're talking about her. How, how did she feel? Yeah. I honestly don't know. I haven't talked to her in two years, but that was my thing. I'm, I, okay, I'm all, right, all, right, all right, all right. Abort, 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 abort. Yeah, abort. Yeah, yeah, this woman is I, happily yeah. married. Well, we don't know if she's <laughs> Abort. But uh, listen, Will. Yeah, if you haven't talked to this woman in two years and she's married, you, you absolutely. What was the plan going to be? What were, what were we doing here? Well, we were just going to pop up and just let it to be like, hey, I fucking remember you used to run the mile. And you're like, what were you? What, how are we going to? How? What was the plan here, Will? I don't know, honestly. Honestly, thank God was, you called. Thank was, God. Thank fucking. Thank God you called us tonight, Will. Thank no, God. No, I would. I would. I probably would have never done. I probably would have never send a message or anything saying that, honestly. Do you think an, maybe old, there's a there's a little bit of this that. that it's because it's the forbidden fruit and you feel like mm. you might have lost your shot that that's why you're so enticed and calling geckos about this and so forth and so on? Do you think maybe you just need a new thing to be focused on and be excited about? Absolutely, you need a new rather thing than to be um, on, excited a about. happily married woman who who you haven't spoken to. Do you think maybe there's a something that's maybe more right in front of your view that might be an easier game plan? Most likely, probably. Well, can I ask you, aside from your dating life, what, what else is going on with you? Do you are you working? You're in school? You're making stuff? You're walking around? What do you? What is um, your life like outside of dating? Eight, I work eight to five every day. Weekends I work at server. I'm in college for construction management. I'm a, I'm a busy person, honestly. Because, I, I mean, I agree totally with what, what Kenny was saying. You need something that you can be focused on and excited about to take you away from, from this. And right now, you know, might need to focus on yourself. You have a lot on your plate. School on top of what sounds oh, like no. two jobs, you said, on top of full-time work, that is a whole lot to deal with. 
a relationship, how oh, realistically, no, I'm, I'm, would, how much time would you really have for the relationship or how much time would you even have to steal this married woman from her family? You wouldn't even have adequate time to, <laughs> to ruin uh, her current situation. Right. That takes a whole lot of planning. Yeah. Even if you wanted to ruin like her, her kid's life, her husband's life, like all the the two families that come along with that, the grandparents mm-hmm. are going to be upset. Steal if you want the dog. Yeah, you don't have enough time even to do that. So we got to focus on you. No, we focus uh, on like, you like got you going said, on. Focus myself. You're right. I, yeah. My main goal right now is to get a house. And, you know, just have you ever thought about uh, having sex with your like own people. sleep demon? Have you ever, have you ever had uh, sex with your own sleep paralysis demon? I had sleep paralysis once, and no. Never crossed my mind. Um, okay. Have you thought about uh, undergoing various medical surgeries to induce yourself intentionally into sleep paralysis so that you can have sex with your sleep paralysis, Stephen? It's like one or two trips to the hospital, and then you never have, you know, who cares about a girlfriend or a married woman? Because I feel like if that worked for one of these calls, it might work for another one as well. That's the, it's like, it's like recycling. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. Never crossed my mind till now, I guess. Well, I want to be like, here, listen, listen, Will. Something to think about. Listen, I know we're fucking with you, but I, 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 I really, I don't know how, but I wish I could go into your brain and just flip a switch that made you look towards the future uh, of infinite possibilities of infinite people, infinite things, all up for grabs by you uh, that aren't this, 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 this woman. And I don't know, maybe you said it's been six no, years. No. Usually I say to people, maybe it'll just take some time. But like, Will, you need um, and you need something to occupy your brain. You need to be in the flow state and preferably not another person, preferably something going on that is fully in your control, which a relationship is not because it's 50 50. No, so, so you need a little bit of if things. If you have a wedding ring, it's a no go. Well. <laughs> it's been a while since I've thought about her, honestly, and I. Probably then we'll have move on on her. And like I said, I'm fo- I'm really now I'm focused on myself, focusing on my situations, focusing on you know buying a house, doing my own thing, Good. getting my career. That's right, King. Going. That's right, King. Good. That's right, King. Will. Where there's a will, yep. there's a way. There's a will, there's a way. I agree with that. Will. I mean, that was you think, just to get do you on, think that on, they on, think oh. that you paint your whole body green under this suit? Like, I wonder if if they think like my my whole dick and balls and ass are painted green right now because it's it's just my face. Um, yeah, people have like, well, when I've shown off the belly, people are like, "Oh, you're not green everywhere," and I'm like, "You don't know, I could be green on the knees and the other places that I don't show my body." Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Will, listen. Well, well, uh, I have a question, uh, like, real quick. Please. Oh, about the whole green thing. It, does it come? Does it all come off when you remove all the paint, face paint? Not all of it. There's usually a lot of. Or are you still green? You'll see. Oh, I, have to go to, I have to go to a thing after this. Oh, you do. Will, is there anything you want to say to the people before we go? No, not really. I'm okay. trying to go to bed now. Thank you very much for calling, Will. Good night, Will. Thank you. Good night. Appreciate y'all. Well, this has just been. A treat. It's been a treat to have you, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Guys, Reddit, Twitch, thank you for allowing me to geck up and just let you guys know what's on my mind. Do we have any uh, anything you want to plug? Any projects coming up? Any things going on in the universe of Kenny Beats that you would like the people of the Geck Nation to know? Twitch.tv slash Kenny Beats. We give away thousands of dollars worth of gifts every single week on my stream to new producers. Don't overthink shit.com. We've still got a couple items on there if anybody wants to get anything. Uh, new Vince Staples music coming soon. Some new Freddie Gibbs music that might be produced by me coming soon. New Denzel Curry and T-Pain out now produced by your boy. And twitch.tv slash Lyle Forever. Hit the fucking sub and follow button. Thanks for having me. Kenny Beats, it has been an honor gecking with you. Folks at home, have a good night. Gek bless you all.